Hey, what's going on, Cosmo? Ah, uh, nothing. I'm just sitting here trying to decide on what video to do next. You have any suggestions for me? Hey, buddy, where you going? You know what? That's a great idea, homie. Now clear my desk so I can get to work. No! Hey, what's up everybody? Dan here and thanks for joining me for another TechFit 360 video. I have the MX Master 2S mouse right here, and if you've been wondering should you just keep the MX Master and be satisfied or upgrade to the MX 2S, well then, this video is just for you. Let me start by saying I love the MX Master mouse. I haven't encountered any issues with it whatsoever since day one. It's been my ride or die mouse. So I'm hoping I can get this same level of commitment from the MX Master 2S. I didn't plan on doing a video on this mouse because let's face it, it's been out for a minute. But since one of my subscribers asked about it, I decided to put something together. And today, I'm just going to focus on the differences between the two. But let me point out that the very things you loved about the MX Master, you will still find in the MX Master 2S. So it's all that and more. When you place the two side by side, the first thing you're going to notice is the color change on Logitech's flagship mouse. So now you can choose from graphite, midnight teal, and light gray as you see here. I must admit that midnight teal color is looking sweet. I chose the light gray because I think it goes better with my iMac setup. On the left button, you will also notice this mouse has the new Logitech logo. If we flip the two over and take a look at the belly of these beasts, there's a slight change here as well. The connect button has been removed and replaced with, well, nothing really. Now, in order to place the mouse in discovery mode, you must hold the easy switch button for three seconds. Now, let's get to the three reasons why I feel it's worth upgrading this mouse. Number one, fast charging. Logitech claims that a three minute charge will get you through a work day and a full charge will last for over 70 days. On March 30th, this mouse was charged at 100%. When I reach 70 days, I'll update the video description, including the results. Number two, the MX Master 2S comes with the all new 4000 DPI for even better tracking. Yes, even on glass surfaces and bald heads. Of course, I'm being facetious here with this, but if it works on this bald head, the possibilities are endless. And number three, cross computer controller with Logitech Flow, which is my favorite reason for upgrading. In short, I can connect up to three computers, Mac and Windows, and copy and paste text images, and other files between them. Let's check it out. All right, everybody, the process is really simple. An Acer Windows 10 laptop and an Apple iMac are being used in this video. After verifying both machines are on the same wireless or wired network, pair your mouse with up to three computers by pressing the easy switch button for three seconds so it can connect to your Mac or PC. The install Logitech options will automatically appear. Once you have the software installed, make sure you enable Flow in the Logitech software. When both devices connect successfully, you can then start copying and pasting files between up to three machines. I am really loving this feature. You can pick up the MX Master 2S for around $90 on Amazon, and you can also buy the MX Master on Amazon for around $74. If you ask me, I think it's worth paying the extra $16 for the 2S. But let me know what you all think. All right, everybody, give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's video, and you have got to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and please subscribe to this channel. So what mouse are you currently using? Hit me up in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to join me in the next TechFit360 video.